How common are Earth-like planets in the universe? We explore the groundbreaking cosmic ray bath theory. The question of our planet's uniqueness is one that has captivated researchers for decades. Starting research on supernova explosions, one researcher unexpectedly found themselves asking fundamental questions about the origins of Earth-like planets. Planetary scientists long believed that the early solar system was enriched with short-lived radioactive elements, such as aluminum-26, from a nearby supernova. This classic idea, known as the injection scenario, presented a significant problem that researchers couldn't overlook. The decay of these radioactive elements heated young planetesimals, causing them to lose much of their original water and other volatile materials, a crucial step for forming rocky planets like Earth. The injection scenario required an extraordinary coincidence. The supernova had to explode at precisely the right distance and geometry. If Earth's birth depended on such a rare event, the explanation felt incomplete. There had to be another factor at play. Supernovae are not just explosions. Their shock waves generate enormous numbers of high-energy particles called cosmic rays that propagate far beyond the debris. However, in most models of solar system formation, these powerful high-energy particles were largely ignored. This led to a new hypothesis. What if the young solar system wasn't just hit by ejecta, but was immersed in a bath of cosmic rays? The core of the idea is that the young solar system simply existed in the same stellar nursery as a massive star that later exploded. When cosmic rays interact with the protosolar disk, they trigger nuclear reactions that naturally produce the required short-lived radioactive elements, including ALUMINUM26. A recent study published in Science Advances explored this idea using numerical simulations of cosmic ray acceleration and nuclear reactions. The results were surprising. The mechanism worked remarkably well, producing the required amount of radioactive elements. This production occurred at about one parsec from a supernova, a typical distance where the fragile protosolar disk remains intact, no lucky coincidence required. This realization has broader implications for planet formation and habitability. If the classic injection scenario is rare, then water-depleted rocky planets like Earth might be exceptional. But if cosmic ray immersion is common, then the thermal histories that shaped Earth's interior may be common around a large fraction of sun-like stars. This study reminds us that Earth's formation may not have depended on an almost miraculous coincidence, but on a more universal astrophysical process.